Well, I thought so I'm just going to make a few little balls with like a spout rim on them today. So I'll show you how I do those. Fix my wheel now so I don't have to jump start it. So, like I said, it's just going to be a simple ball and a little bit of a foot. And then just put a couple of like spouts on the edge. They don't serve any purpose, it's just a bit of a design thing, really. I'll leave a little bit of thickness at the base just so I can make the foot. I'll just do one quickly and then try and talk you through it. So that's the simple ball shape, just as it is like that. And then what I'm going to do, using the, using my middle finger, is just make some sort of spouts on it. And what that does, it gives it quite a nice, quite a nice design like that. And you can put loads of designs in the middle, but uh, like I said, on a bit of a foot, couldn't be easier. So I'll just make a few more. So these pieces of clay are about, I think they're about 12 ounces or 14 ounces. So I'm just going to centre it quite upright because I'm going to need a little bit of thickness to the base. Just open it up, leaving about three quarters of an inch at the bottom, and then just opening it up like that once, and then just lift it up once, a tiny bit, and then just dig in at the bottom just to make the sort of foot, and then flare it out. Now just to form the ball just by sort of from the inside just pushing it stretching it out just rolling the rim over a little bit Again, that's the shape, and then with the middle finger, making sure your finger's quite wet, just sort of do that, roll it over both sides, and that's what you get. So, little spouts on it, doesn't serve any purpose, like I said, but it just looks quite a nice shape when you decorate them. So I'm making a batch of these, quite easy, they're just tedious. Take me to make probably about a minute and a half or so. Clay is very soft today, so it's a lot easier to make, a lot quicker.
There we go, another one. Like I said, very easy to do once you get the hang of it. I would suggest now I'll, uh, try and explain this little move I use when I'm just lifting up. Which a lot of people have commented on. Which comes after this bit. So this is the bit where I, I lift it up and I'm actually using three fingers on each hand it's it's a strange one so I'm doing I'm grabbing it there and lifting it but when I think about it really it's only it's only those fingers that are doing it they're just there to keep that to keep that um, secure you know but it just it's like a three fingered claw one if you want to give that a try and see how you get on It's a strange looking move. There's another one, and another one. Anyway folks, I'll try and put a few more videos on. Now it's winter and I'm not as, not as busy at work. It's just trying to find things that are a bit different to ones I've put, in, put on in the past, because I only make a a limited selection of things, so I'll just end up doing the same sort of duplicate videos time after time. So if you, if you want to see any more, just subscribe to me and you should get a notification when I put a new video on if you're interested, which would be nice. I'll try and do something a bit, in, bit more interesting. So that's five, I'll do another one and then that'll be it. I won't bore you any longer. Six done, should be about ten minutes. If I can 
finding the, you know, finding the a bit of finish that have been fired and glazed, I'll take a picture and show you what they look like when they're finished. Stick it on the end. But if not, then that's about it. Just making a few of these little little balls with the sort of spout sides. Look nice from the side. So that's it folks.